You probably remember this. This is my TVS XL. I have it with me. It is homebrewed because you can see it's got the sweat and sheet custom backwards, it's, which does cycle, cycle. So, we're gonna go to the file 3SD manager because I'm gonna get the Studio Ghibli image. So, you need to first click the download to load the QR scanner. And the camera is really right here, so. You gotta, you gotta use it to scan the QR code. Once it scans, it's gonna download and it's gonna load it. So if I go, so let's see here. Uh, I'll just preview a scene. Okay, hold on. Okay, here we go, splash screen. Right now it's set to the Gundam, but there's two Ghibli. Windows, Windows 10, Windows 11, Windows XP, and then there's also another Windows 11. Windows 11 is the boot, and then there's another Windows 11, so. So if I go ahead and click this one. Now it's going to do that one, so it's going to go ahead, let's go ahead and click. Uh, now if I go ahead and turn this off, instead of my, the Gundam one I normally use, you're going to see the Ghibli one. So let's go ahead and give it a try. Yep, there we go. This is a 2DS XL, by the way. So, this isn't a 3DS XL. It's a new 2DS XL. So, if I go ahead and look at the back, and you can easily tell because the, because the color, and the shape, and the camera's right here. It's hard to tell, but it it's the new 2DS XL. So this one does not have 3D, which I don't mind 3D anymore. So, 3D is more like a gimmick. So, so now it takes a lot longer to boot on a. Homebrewed, homebrewed system than it is if it's not hacked. But I home, but this is homebrewed for one reason, so I can get those custom themes. And it's literally on. <laughs> nice, it's literally on the Gundam one. Now I'm gonna quickly switch back. So, so this is the theme manager that you normally get when that you normally have, so you can have custom backgrounds. So if I switch this back and then click that. Now it's gonna be set to my Gundam one, which I normally use. So, I will turn that volume down. But you can see on my system, I have a few games. These are all just I, what I purchased. So, and we also, oh, so this, is this Luma? I guess that's Luma. That's the homebrew launcher. And then we, of course, we got the, the Mario Kart game that comes with the system. That's the one that came with the system. Of course, we, this is the one that's in the cartridge, Animal Crossing, which we can load up. Yeah, I can't believe I even have this in the first place. I don't have a charge for it, unfortunately. So, um, I gotta really be careful with my ba with the battery on this, so because I don't, I don't really have a charger for this, so so I might have to actually order a, a charger for it, so. But yeah, it's it's a it's the welcome Reaver version, and it has the Link HD day, which allows you to take the card out. But I don't have a Happy Home Designer here, and if you and if this is a brand new game, you will have the Link Transfer Town. So, so it's doing the Gundam thing. Now this does change if you reboot the console. So. So if I go ahead and do that, and then press the power, see, there's my Gundam splash screen, which I know, which I put on here for that reason. I like this splash screen here. I made it so it stays on here for pretty long, so. But you can see on here, you can download a few other splash screens here. And the, there's actually that prank LCD, which is nice, but for XSS4, you don't have the vault on the one, unfortunately. Oh my, why does it do that? Why does it auto correct? Okay. See, there's the Gundam one. So, this is the one I have, but I also have this this one here. I was on Splatoon 3. They literally have the music for Splatoon 3. I'm gonna see if I could reboot and see what else it 
goes in. It's very random. It's very random that he did this. So it's in a loop as well. So so and the SD card I have is actually put on this cover. This cover doesn't actually close up properly because because of wear, of course. We can see the there's the game card, and then there's the SD card. It's actually 128 gigabytes formatted to FAT32. Um, unfortunately, it only supports FAT32, and I tried when I tried it on my Chromebook, it doesn't work. But when I tried it with your Raspberry Pi Imager, it works, which is weird. Because when I when I formatted this FAT32 on the Chromebook, the the system couldn't even detect it. It did the splash screen properly. When it, whenever it goes to this screen, it doesn't seem to do the music like it normally does. So I think I'm gonna actually check check on it. Loading splashes. So I'm just gonna go load to the seams. So she shuffle. Normal theme. Okay, now if I go ahead and go to the home menu. Now this one normally plays music, so let's, let's reboot this. It's actually not going to shuffle anymore because I shuffled it before. So if I press the power button. Now when it does play the music, it only plays on one side, so it's only mono, so not stereo. Also, that was this problem with the system when I had this, but no, it's not. It's just, it's just uh, the theme is a mono. So I guess it's not going to play. Let's I'm going to take a lesson first. Once it boots up, of course. It hasn't. It takes always pretty long, long longer on this one. Okay, there goes the backlight. Oh, it shuffled again. That's not the one I chose. That's not the one I chose. I saw. I said it said it doesn't shuffle. Yeah, I didn't set it to shuffle. So hold on, let me. That's weird, so it's not supposed to be this one. So if I search for... So is this, this is going to be themes. It's got more themes, of course. If I search for this one, there's two of them. I got this one and that one, so... It's only two, unfortunately. A lot of people have downloaded, of course. Maybe it's just the same I chose that's, that's off. But actually, the one I so chose it should be that one. But I think it might be mixed. Mixed up. There goes the backlight. Yeah, I, I, think, I think the icons are actually mixed up. The icons are mixed up. So let's try, let's try this one. Oh. What the? Hold on, let me go ahead and try to download the theme again. So it's downloading. Now this one is actually a soft mod, so if I remove the SD card, the system will still boot. So installed it, and I think it's this one. Okay. Okay, I'll figure that out later, but for some reason it's stuck on this one. So I need to figure out what's going on 